Is it possible to have our wheat, salt, and sugar cravings gone in three days? Pooja joins us right now with a three-day reset. Tell me about it. Three days at a time. So for each of those, it takes three days. And it's more of resetting your, your relationship with food. So it's a mind, it's a body, it's, it's, it's many things combined, but most of it is resetting your, your relationship, your connection to real food. Sure. Okay, now I've got it, but Pooja, I have to say, you've now made healthy delicious with this new book. I, <laughs> you hit the nail on, I don't have to do anything, I could leave the interview. That's exactly what this is all about. Healthy is delicious, period. And that's how it's supposed to be. Um, for human beings and we just got to get back to that. We got to reset us, ourselves back to that for sure. Well, I'm certainly glad you're here to help Pooja. So let's jump into it. Those sugars, we know they're not good for us. So how do we work through that three day craving? Yeah, well, sugar, you know, there's a good and bad to this, right? Sugar is probably the most pervasive in, in our food system, uh, refined sugars in our, in our foods. But at the same time, it's it's the easiest to, to nix if you can get those tools. And so what the three-day reset does, there's a, a chapter in the book called the sugar reset chapter. And what it asks you to do is for three days, take out all those processed sugars from your diet. Look at all the ingredient lists of everything you're buying. Make sure you, you no, no processed sugars are in there. And then in substitute, I don't say, okay, um, just, just, go on off and, and don't satisfy your sweet tooth. I give you these beautiful recipes, like for instance, here is uh, cacao truffles made with raspberries and dates. Dates are some of the sweetest whole foods in, in, in nature. And I give you these wonderful recipes to substitute and satisfy your sweet cravings along the way. So this is not about sacrifice. It's not about dieting, guys. It's about getting those, those whole food um, flavors to tantalize your taste buds in return. Cool, I love your advice. Let's jump into the very popular wheat. What do we do there? Yeah, now there's a lot of different things. You're, you're right, it's such a, a, a popular topic today um, with this gluten-free craze. Here's my take on wheat. We're eating too much of it. We're not spreading the love. So we're about 75% of the grain-based foods we eat in, as Americans are based in refined wheat. You know, what about brown rice? What about quinoa? What about all these various other whole grains that cultures all over the, the world are eating? I think we need to spread the love and start to eat more of those whole grains that, that are, are not wheat. Now, if we do eat wheat, let's eat whole wheat, for gosh sakes. Let's eat wheat that has not been refined at all. And you can find that, and I give you in the three-day reset, ways to identify whole wheat products. Well, Pooja, certainly great advice. Any last words? If you want to be the person that you have the potential to be in this world, you have to eat this way. It gives you the energy, that confidence. It, it helps us lose weight, maintain our weight. Um, you're, you, you become a superhuman when you eat this way. And so, you know, all we have to do is get on that path, get on those tools, get those tools, and, and our life will, will be renewed really that's that's how important this kind of food is well you are superhuman thank you for making us superhuman with this new brand new book what a treasure and so are you thanks so much thank you so much